I can tell you that Lake Champlain, for myself and my family, it's, it's, it is the place where we go to have fun. It's where my kids want to go swimming. It's, uh, it's the place where my kids couldn't go swimming this year because of a big blue-green algae outbreak. The lake is very important to me and my family. It's like this treasure just a few miles down the road. We swim in it, we boat on it, and just love to see it. And we notice the degradation. Those blue-green algae blooms where certain embayments look like chunky pea soup, you know, that's outrageous. That's an indicator of a gross failure. The success of the Vermont economy depends on the success of the Vermont ecology. Once enough of us experience a beach closure, or our kids coming out with their skin irritated, or our dog dies because of eating blue-green algae, more people will mobilize. And we live in a state that has this reputation for being an environmental leader. Why is there one dog dying? Lake Champlain is a perfect example of state and federal regulators being captured by the status quo and ignoring important state and federal environmental laws that have been on the books in many cases for decades. What do we want in terms of water quality and how much are we prepared to buy? Do we want the Cadillac or the Cavalier? Clean water has just fallen off the radar. Everybody says, oh, the Clean Water Act, and we've cleaned up the problem. Well, we haven't. We know there are, are some places across the landscape that produce more runoff than others. And if we targeted those places, we could make a lot of progress faster. And some of the people don't even know this has been stolen from them. They, they've never been here. They don't know that somebody took this from them.